Hiya, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails and in this video I'm going to be doing some more speedy nail art designs for you and these are going to be super duper bright, ready for the sunshine. So, keep watching. So, I thought I'd do some quick sort of salon designs because soon we'll be able to open, I'm so excited. Um, and I thought I'd do some brighter stuff because soon summer and all that. Um, so yeah, that's what I thought we'd do. I'm going to do neon stuff because I've seen a lot of neon stuff about. Everyone's obviously getting prepared. Um, so that is what we're going to focus on. So for this, I'm going to do two. Two designs. So for this first one, I'm going to use an extra brush. Um, this is the 3D2 brush that I've used for all sorts of things. But you can use whatever brush you want because I'm going to use the neon gel paints. So I'm going to use purple and I'm also going to use orange and yellow. There is, oh, do I need pink? Yes, I need pink. I'm going to use pink as well. There is some um, other ones. There's a green one, a blue one, a hot pink one. So you can use whatever you want, but these are the ones that I'm going to use. I have already done two coats of I-156. That is my base. I'm sticking with white. Um, I like to use white against neon colours because it makes the colours look brighter. Um, but definitely for the next one when I'm going to use the neon pigments I always use a white base because it just makes the colour pop. You don't get such a bright colour um, if you use something else. So now I've made a right old mess on my fingers. Just going to clean that. Okay, so I've got my two coats of white and then I'm just going to use my brush and these gel paints out of the pot. And I'm just going to do some swoopy, sweepy, dead quick and easy lines with it. The kind of mush together in bits as well which is good that's fine it's what we want I'm gonna get the yellow in there as well I'm only doing um half of this nail but obviously you can do whatever you want you might want to do more you might want to do the whole nail whatever you fancy and then I'm just going in again with my brush and just mushing them up a bit more together so now I'm just going to stick that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and while that's curing I'm going to get my other one now this is going to be a bit more messy and I am going to make it a mess I'm always making a mess so I'm going to get some couch roll to put underneath because otherwise it really will be everywhere. Right. So I have done on this nail already one coat of I-156. Only one because the second one I want to use it wet. I don't want it cured. And I'm going to use the neon pigments. I'm going to use the pink one, orange one and yellow one. There is a green one as well. Um, but I just want to use those ones. Now, I've got to say, these both of these designs I've not done before. I just had a random idea. So I've not tried them. So they might work, they might look awful. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? You've got to try these things because that's how these ideas come about. And to put my pigment on, I'm using an old acrylic brush. So let's do another coat so I'm going to do another coat of I-156 and like I say I'm going to work with this wet coat don't do it too thick because you don't want it to wrinkle when it cures in the lamp but also you don't want it to squidge out because of what we're going to do so make sure it's nice and thin and leave it wet and now I'm going to get my pigments on my brush. So I'm just going to dunk my brush in so I've got quite an amount. And then I'm going to 
just tap it, tap tap so it comes off. Like I say, this uh, could go terribly wrong but we'll find out. <laughs> and I'm going to do the orange one. And then I'm going to do the yellow last, I think I want it on top because obviously yellow is a bit lighter than the others so <clears throat> I'm going to have the yellow on top. Tap. <coughs> right. And then I have got another fit tip. And I'm going to put it over the top. She says, let me move that out of the way. Put it over the top and I'm going to press it. Oh, oh. That's interesting. I like it and the pigment mixes with the white a bit as well and it's made like a bit of a lighter colour. I didn't even think about that. I did not even think about that happening. I like it, it's kind of like um, a tie dye, like a tie dye neon. Hmm, I'm going to stick it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So while the other one is in the lamp curing, I'm going to go back to our first one and I'm going to use the new flexi tape. This is the silver one. Um, it's not the holographic, it's just the normal, normal if I can get my words out, normal silver. Um, but obviously you can use whatever you want to use. And I love this stuff. It's so easy to use. Um, and it's really good obviously for just sort of finishing a design off. And... Also, for covering up, <laughs> if you've got a bit of a dodgy line going on down the middle, if you're doing a half and half, this stuff is great because it just covers that up. I'll move it out of the way. And I'm going to use my tweezers to put it on. So I've gone with quite a thick one, but obviously you could use whatever you wanted, whichever thickness one that you wanted. Um, and I like to use the silicone city tool to smooth it down. But again, if you want to use something else, you can use whatever you fancy. And then I'm going to leave that side just plain white because I think it looks quite cool like that. I'm liking it. So now I've put my tape on, I'm just going to cut the excess off. And then I'm going to top coat. So you can use whichever top coat you prefer, whatever your preference is. I'm going to use some Rock Light. And then just pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And while that's curing, I have got my tie-dye, neon tie-dye, whatever that is, out of the lamp. And I think I'm going to put a bit of foil on. I don't know what foil though. What do we reckon? I think I quite like this one. This is the new, it's like a rose gold, it's kind of a matte look foil. Unfortunately, I can't remember what the name is and my, my pot's not got a name on it. But Joanna will um, put it in the description below so you can see what it is. I think that could be quite cool. I love this foil. Could even be my new fave. <coughs> oh, work, sorry. It's not COVID, don't worry. Just got a tickle. Right, so I've chopped a bit of that off. Gonna chuck it over there. So I'm gonna put this on, but obviously where it sticks is anybody's guess. So because it's not, it'll stick to the white. Um, polish but it won't really stick to the pigment very much unless you've got quite a lot of pigment that's mixed with the polish that's a big bit that's a big bit there but I'm not mad at it I don't mind it actually so if you wanted more foil you could whack a bit of the foil gel on but I'm quite happy with it just being totally random, whatever 
whatever comes off comes off I'm not that bothered we're free and easy so I quite like that and I like that it's got a bigger bit and smaller bits but obviously you know if you're mad at it you can take some away or like I say use your foil gel so it's a bit more accurate but I'm cool with it so I'm going to use rock light to top coat this and I feel like when it's got its top coat on we'll see it come together oh yes see see you have these random thoughts if you have these random weird thoughts in your mind about nail stuff go for it do it try it Right, I'm going to crack that in the lamp for 60 seconds and we have got our other one that we've done. Oh, I love that. That looks so good. Those neon gel paints, honestly, they're lush. And I reckon I'm going to paint the neon side. I think I'm going to go with a bit of velvet matte on there. Why not? Let's treat ourselves to a bit of velvet matte. So I am going to just paint this neon bit, velvet matte. I'm going to leave the silver stripe. I don't want that to be matte necessarily. So if you want to use a different brush to paint this on and try and be a bit more precise with it, that's fine. But I'm quite happy using the brush from the bottom. Just make sure it's all coated. Right, I'm going to put that in for 60 seconds. Meanwhile, it has cured and it looks, I've got to say, blooming great. I love that. I'm all for it. And it was really quick and easy and super effective. If I was doing this on the client, I would top coat it twice because it's got a foil on, you know. And you don't want it to come off and you don't want any rough bits, so I would definitely top coat it twice. But obviously I'm not, so I'm just going to top coat it once. Because I can. I'm going to get some green cleaner and just wipe off the inhibition layer. Oh, yes. Right. Ooh. Oh, gosh, I'm fighting with it now. And our other one is done. Yes, 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 and yes to the mat. Oh my God. Hello, mat. With a little bit of shiny. I love that. I've got to say, I'm loving half and half at the moment, and I just really like the shiny and the mat. I am here for it. Right, I'm just going to get some green cleaner. Give that a bit of a wipe because obviously this side was sticky. This side's not, but this side was. And that's it. So that's super easy as well. So there you've got two really quick, easy, salon viable um, nail arts. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell as well so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.